when I was uh, filming Long Ride Home, I met up with Tom in Notre Dame. Uh, this is our third time to get together was, was at that, that time. And we got in his car and we filmed an interview, which we've always wanted to do. We d- did an interview on the run as he was giving us a tour of Notre Dame. But while we were doing that, Tom, uh, we talked about uh, success and, and the different attributes of what it means uh, of virtue. Now, can you help me? Uh, give, me a, give me what your definition of success would be. I think success is the, it's a journey. It's a process. Um, I read somewhere once and I really believe this, um, success is a journey. It's not to get to the end, but it's how you do it, how you do what you do climbing up the hill. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. You know, leadership is not the position you hold, but it's how you, uh, it's what you do with other people. Meaning a leader leads from the front. A, A leader is somebody who by example, that's very important, they show people the way, they give them confidence, they let them feel empowered, that they don't have to be perfect, they just have to keep going. In the credit union, we do that all the time. We've had several failures along the way. And saying to the organization, that's okay, Th- these are steps along the way to success. And by believing that organizationally, and then at the personal level, um, Again, I keep coming back to this term bear, liberation. When you become personally liberated from your fears, you really, at least in my case, I really feel that I can implement what I believe the Lord wants me to do. Not being afraid of failure, not being afraid of criticism, not being afraid of doing something wrong. And the people who gave me that, um, vision and that path are were my, were my father were people that I knew coming up in the business world who were very successful but very humble men and women who just showed me that it isn't about the things it's about the actions and influencing lives and um, making helping people one life at a time and just telling them it's okay we're talking there's, with nothing, Tom. there's nothing magical to it we're at talking all. With- we're talking with Tom Gripe. He's the president of Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, our, one of our sponsors for our radio show. They're our only corporate sponsor, and then along with you individuals that uh, give to us monthly, we really appreciate you so much. I think a real man is, is a person who's willing to love unconditionally, a man who recognizes that uh, his, he, he needs to be um, a mentor to people, um, it, it's somebody who's strong but humble at the same time and not be afraid to, to show that he's human, right? Because oftentimes men think they have to be superhero heroes and it's not true. You just have to, you just have to engage. You have to love the best you can. You have to lead the best you can. You have to fail and then you have to get up. And, um, it's, it's, you know, the, the best, the the strongest man I ever met was my dad and he was probably the most humble and meek person you ever wanted to, to meet. But what he taught me is that a man can be a, a real man is as much quiet as he is loud. And it's the, the quiet steadiness. It's the, it's the, it's letting people rely on them, knowing they're always going to be there, being that steady source of unconditional love, be it to your spouse or to your children or professional love to the people you work with. Yeah. What do you mean by that professional love to the people you work with? <laughs> well, again, it's, one of, it's one of the words, it's kind of like failure when you have to engage with it, but we work with people that we're thrust to work with, right? We don't always pick who we work with, but they are children of God, just like we are. So you, you love them and love them in, in respect and you respect them. And, and, um, it doesn't mean you don't hold people accountable. There's tough love, but caring for them like their family, because they are family. We're in the family of man. And, 
looking at that in that sense, that people are not units of labor. They are people trying to make a living so that they can raise their families and accomplish their goals. And we're all pulling on the same oar together. So we have to be sensitive to that. So going through the journey is what we're talking about today, loving unconditionally in spite of our own faux pas, I think gets us a long way to being what Christ wants us to be. Hey man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.